lot of people ask me, how can you be a servant leader in your family? Well, you know, when I talk about servant leadership out there in the business world, a lot of people I'm ta think I'm talking about the inmates running the prison or trying to please somebody or some kind of religious movement. If you want to be a servant leadership at home, you got to recognize that there's two parts of servant leadership. And we talk about this in our book uh, very clearly. There's the leadership part, which is what is the vision, direction, and goals? What are you trying to accomplish? What do you want your kids to do and all? Because leadership is about going somewhere. And if people don't know what you want them to do, the chances of them doing it are very slim. So once that's set up, and that's your responsibility, not that you always set the goals yourself and all, but you can work with the kids and all, particularly as they get older, but it's your responsibility to make vision and direction and goals clear. And then once that, you go to the servant part, and now you gotta turn the traditional pyramid upside down. And now the kids don't work for you, you work for them. Your job is to help them live according to the family values, live according to the, to the rules that you have and the goals that you've set in mind. So many parents get all hung up, though, on, you know, it's my position. You know, you get a kid that stands up in the morning from the kitchen table and says, I'm sick and tired of how you run things around here. I'm out of here, you know, and I wish I didn't come back. And most parents will run to the door and they'll yell out, who do you think you're talking to, young man? You know, that's about your ego. You're saying, oh, you're questioning my position. No, if you're a servant leader, you would run to the door and say, son, I can see that you must be upset, and it seems like I might be one of the causes. Could we talk tonight when you get home? You will see their whole body language change because you want to set goals and you want to give vision and direction, but then you turn it upside down and you work for them. That's the servant part of servant leadership. And so it's that balance between vision and direction and implementation and accomplishment.